great place to be on an early August afternoon. This is a live picture from the WLKY News Chopper of the Springhurst neighborhood pool there in northeastern Jefferson County. A lot of folks getting out and cooling off from those very warm, some would call it hot temperatures late on this Friday. And if you have any plans to be outside by your backyard pool or anything else across the area late on this Friday, go for it. It's going to stay very pleasant and dry across our region. Temperatures for you once again warmed up today back into the middle and upper 80s at this time. Officially 89 was the high about an hour ago. The humidity is the saving grace though, very low at 32 percent. And that means that that feel like temp isn't soaring back into the lower and middle 90s yet. That's the good news. We have a light breeze right now at around five miles an hour. Elsewhere across the region, you can see the temperature staying warm anywhere from the 70s off toward the west and northwest with more clouds. Otherwise, middle 80s were actually the warm spot right here in town at 87 as of five o'clock. You can see the clouds and showers off toward the west. Illinois, a scattering of showers and storms up toward the north up by 65, close to Lafayette and Gary, Indiana, some rain as well. And all of this, as you can see, is slowly marching off toward the east and southeast on the leading edge of upper level low pressure across Iowa. This is a weak storm system. And of course, I just showed you those low humidity values. So as this thing heads in our direction, we would all like to see some rainfall, but uh, it's not going to be in the cars for a lot of us. Just a scattered shower chance for your Saturday. And if you do see the rain, it's not going to be overly heavy. So of course, that's good news for outdoor plans. But yeah, the yards do need a drink and not much in the forecast for rain the next several days. But again, a couple showers for tomorrow. Highs back in the lower to middle 80s, so warm temperatures. And don't cancel those plans. If that shower comes to your backyard, it will not last too long. We're all dry by Sunday. Highs back in the middle and upper 80s. Partly to mostly sunny skies expected. The hot temperatures, though, we're going to be seeing for next week are going to persist into the early part of the PGA Championships. So let's talk about that in detail. High pressure winds out for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for the practice rounds out of Valhalla. Temperatures for you rising into the upper 80s Monday and lower 90s by Tuesday and Wednesday. And those three days look mostly sunny and mainly dry. Maybe a stray shower or storm late on Wednesday. The reason being a cold front heading away from the west and northwest. This front will be stalling out over us just in time, it looks like for the first couple of rounds of PGA action next Thursday and Friday. Here's that forecast in detail. What we're looking at right now anyway, temperatures middle to upper 80s and a chance of scattered showers and storms. Now the good news about this, once again, it does not look like a washout. Just a scattering of daytime showers, especially in the second half of the day as we warm back into the middle and upper 80s. The rain chance on both days at right around 30 percent. So we'll watch that for you close. In the meantime, here's your evening forecast. Temps falling from those 80s back into the 70s. Partly cloudy and very nice out there. At 10 o'clock, we're at 78 degrees. Mostly clear skies. In the morning, we'll start back in the mid and upper 60s. A few clouds passing by off and on. And by midday tomorrow, we'll call it 82 with clouds increasing. Maybe a shower, especially off toward the west by midday. Here's that seven day forecast with the all important weekend there for you 86 and 87 on Saturday and Sunday. Again, that shower chance around 20 to 30 percent for your Saturday, guys. And then next week will dry out and heat up for the front half of the week. And then maybe a few showers and storms as things get going out at Valhalla. We'll have to watch that forecast close and hope we can get a lot of dry time in for all the events out there. Fingers are crossed. That's we right. would like that. Mm, thanks, Jared.